I cannot believe I've been here countless of times and yet it is still my first vlog from London. For those that are new here, my name is Elvira, I'm a fashion and beauty influencer from Geneva. If you're interested in one of those topics or if you just like my vibe, you can follow me on my Instagram account. Today we are in London with Samsung for the Unpacked event. I'm going to go more in details about what the Unpacked is a bit further in the video. In the meantime, I'm going to show you little bits of what I really love about London. Some of my favorite spots, shopping spots, food spots and of course cute outfits. Talking of outfits, let me show you what I'm wearing today. I changed the angle, hope you can see it. I'm wearing... Ooh, I'm wearing this cute little combo from 12 stories, one of my favorite Russian brands. And also my new Demelier straw bag. By the way, Demelier is a London brand. Off to lunch! Gosh, being in London when it's that sunny is such a pleasant change! I'm lunching in an Australian restaurant called Scarlet Green. Looks like such a fun place! I ordered a shakshuka, it's been ages since I had one. I added some chorizo and an avocado on the side. Well, that was good. Next thing on our program is that we have a bit of free time and free time in London basically means shopping time. Okay, not always because I don't actually shop for luxury things here in London, especially since Brexit because I think the prices are a bit too high. But I'm going to visit the new reformation store in Covent Garden and I also want to buy a very cute kimono at Olivia and Halley. Let's see if they have it because I only saw it online. And then maybe if we have some free time, I will want to visit Liberty, which is probably my favorite department store here in London. Okay, so we are bringing Seraph along with us to Reformation. Seraph is my Samsung PR girl slash also influencer slash <laughs> fitness Everything guru. You, want. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot really see it now, but her body is amazing. <laughs> Shop is very lovely. It's right on King Street in the middle of Covent Garden. many items from Reformation. It's honestly one of my favorite brands. I'm ordering it almost like every two weeks, I don't know, from the US. I think they have the prettiest sweat, they are always super flattering and they have the cutest prints. And I'm grabbing these linen pants and I really like them because they're very relaxed kind of things I'm wearing all summer long and that I'll be able to wear again and again and again so I think I'll go for this one cabbing in a real London taxi I love it because it's very roomy can you say roomy? there is tons of places for legs and it is also very pretty from the outside <laughs> I was about to say that these UK cabs they are so cute they should be used for photo shootings a bit more often but actually I already did a photo shoot in a cab here in London it was a couple of years ago we're here with Joe Malone I'm going to put you the result of this beautiful photo shoot here it was such a fun experience at Olivia Monhalle where we're heading to now I'm looking for a cotton kimono the fact that I had this idea back in Paris when we were with Dior at the Dior Spy had this little kimono it was also cotton it was so nice because all of my other kimonos are either silk or made of a thicker fabric which is more suitable for winter I was really looking for something lighter and cotton is perfect also Olivia and Halley is a London brand and we're now heading to the headquarters headquarters this is a main shop how cute is this place I think Olivia Van Halley's boutique is down the road here found it Here we are and I'm looking for something like this but in beige. Here is the beauty. <laughs> they also have many silk things. I love this one so but as I said I have many silk pajamas and I was really looking for cotton. It's all so happy. What is he doing here? Outfit 
Feeling myself like a Carrie Bradshaw in the new Sex and the City series, like the dress. We are going to eat at Sushi Samba. First time here, but I heard only, only good reviews. Imperial Gold. <laughs> this we have a private room so the concept of sushi samba is fusion food from japan peru and brazil how do you eat this in a classy way you don't you just cilantro like it i'm gonna try this yeah what is it coconut rice <laughs> it looks good, so. How is it? Okay, I was waiting for this. When you're at sushi samba, you have to have some sushi. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We are off to breakfast, and our autumn is located like two minutes away from Abuelo, which is one of my favorite places for breakfast here in London, you'll see food there is art. We are here! Have you ever seen a more beautiful avo toast? It really does look like art. Walking around Covent Garden just taking in the atmosphere all by myself for a change. Last time we were here in winter, we purchased a couple of wooden toys here for seven. It was very cute, a very nice logo shop. Also really loving this cashmere brand and peel. I have a cashmere scarf from them and it's one of my best, best scarves. Today is the day we're going to attend the Samsung Unpacked event. So basically, what is Unpacked? Unpacked is that time of the year when Samsung is revealing its new devices. Uh, by the time this vlog is going to be live, uh, well, the devices will already be revealed. So I'm not going to hide them from you in this vlog. For those that are new here, I've been a Samsung ambassador for over three years now. Like, I think it's three years and a half. And Unpacked has always been one of my favorite events. Ever. It happens twice a year. In the one of the impact, we've even been traveling to San Francisco. It was before the pandemic, like two years ago. It was such a fun event. So today's program is going to be this. Basically, we're going to watch the live stream at the Samsung head office here in London. Uh, we're going to like discover the products because we know what they will be, but we haven't seen them yet. And after this, like tonight's program is going to be the Creators Lounge. This is a sort of entire space dedicated to content creation. So there will be like uh, Instagram influencers, TikTokers, everyone, and we'll be able to try the products before everyone else. And we're going to create the content that is going to be published on all our social media. The Liberty, my favorite department store here in London. And the reason why I love Liberty so much is just that it is so beautiful. All of these wooden details and also smaller than the other department stores here in London. But the selection, in my opinion, is one of the best. Taking advantage of this beautiful mirror to show you my outfit of the day. I'm wearing the linen pants I bought yesterday at Reformation. Another manga top. This one is brown. I just love them my uh, saddlebag and another pair of Hermes orange. Very cool and relaxed outfit. There is also Maria Tash here. This is basically the place I did all of my ear piercings. Very nice place. They have such beautiful jewelry. Well arrived at the Samsung KX which means King's Cross. Currently, uh, we are here to discover the new products. We are sitting front row. <laughs> the live from New York is going to start within the next 10 minutes. He's, he's always doing this. He says, I don't want you to film me because I look awkward not participating to the discussion. And then he tries to appear in my views. 
as I was saying, that in the next 10 minutes we'll discover some new products on this big screen. <laughs> On our way to the hotel, but we will still stop for some cupcakes. These are probably my favorite cupcakes in the world. They are from Crumbs and Doilies. I don't know if I pronounced that right, but it's kind of hidden next to Carnaby Street, and they are absolutely delicious. They are out of this world. Amazing. This one is baklava. How can it be? Malteser. Haven't tried this one. I probably shouldn't eat this before dinner, but I just love them. Look, mm. that looks so good. Yeah. Mouth scissors. Change of outfit. We are going for dinner and then the Creator's Lounge. This little top is from Reformation. AP Studio pants, they are oversized and a little bit of heels. I think I changed three times before tonight because I wasn't sure about all the dress code and everything. But then I saw the TikTokers earlier today and decided to play it cool. We are waiting for our dinner. You already know Yusra from my Dior vlog. Am I supposed Yeah, from my Dior vlog. I'll pin it here. So, Elvira, yes. what's next on your Hermes wish list? Uh, that's a one million dollar question. We all want to know. Mm, I think it's the Black Kelly 25 Celine with gold card. I can picture it right yeah, now. Me too. We have arrived at the Creators Lounge and it is right at the Trafalgar Square. This is impressive. <laughs> Creators Lounge situation. Charles is working on filming and here are the devices. This is a new Flip 4. Um, the new buds too. I I would like to move them, but they're actually glued. Hello. And here we have the fold four. Looks so gorgeous in this beautiful color. Going back to the hotel after this unforgettable experience <laughs> with Samsung, and look what kind of view we have from our taxi. Yay! On my way to dinner, we are going to Zima Street Food. It is one of my favorite restaurants here in London. They do Russian cuisine and that's basically the only place I ever eat Russian food. We don't really have like uh, Russian restaurants in Switzerland and I haven't been in Russia in ages. I actually tried a couple of other Russian restaurants here in London, but this one is really my favorite because their food is very hummy. Like, in my humble opinion, Russian cuisine must be homemade, it must be like like your grandma's food, you know, like your pilmenis. It have to be fancy. And this is exactly what the kind of food we're getting there. Tonight is also our first night without the Samsung Galaxy team because they left yesterday and we decided to extend our stay for one additional night. So we'll be meeting some friends at my favorite restaurant. Where are we going? Straight. I have a Pimini radar and it's telling me to go straight. I can hear people speak Russian everywhere, so nice. Here we have the Porsche. What a beauty! We have some black bread. Here, oh, I just love it. I'm adding this. The Porsche always it's sour cream. It is just too good. And the main course is the minis. This is honestly my favorite Russian dish. It smells so good. Yeah. It's a new day, and it's also our last day here in London. I wish we had more time to visit all of our other favorite places like uh, Notting Hill, Portobello Road, 
stuff like that. But uh, today we're still going to enjoy a bit of the city before taking our flight. We are heading now to the London Edition Hotel for breakfast. Um, because the breakfast location, the Burners Tavern, really <laughs> reminds me of the Harry Potter, Harry Potter movies. You'll see why. It's very good there too. Uh, after that, I think I'm going to shop for a little gift for our son at the Lego boutique. And we will. We also want to visit the British Museum again, which is Charles's favorite museum. He's doing research there for his book. So that's a bit of the plan for today, but let me show you the breakfast now. Here it is. Do you guys get the Harry Potter vibes now? The breakfast menu is pretty standard. They used to have an amazing uh, waffle. They don't have it anymore, as you can see, so I'll go for the crushed avocado thing. Everything is just the way I like, and Charles got a porridge. Looks yummy. <laughs> My outfit today consists of this new shirt I got from Funky Shop, Prada shorts, Roger Vivi loafers, uh, of course Hermes Dyke, and Chanel Sunnies. Actually, those that have been following me for some time on Instagram now might recognize this street because we always take pictures in front of the Burners Tavern, the light here. It's very nice and um, there is not a lot of people walking by. So this is probably what we're going to do now. This is probably the most mandatory shop in London when you have a kit. Look at that, they did the Kringles bag from Harry Potter in Lego. This is how it looks from above, they even did the dragon, so impressive. That's a big man, obviously. Yeah, it's entirely done Legos. Look at the details. This is what we were looking for. We already have this one. And now we're going to purchase something else to complete our now growing collection. You can even create your own Legos there. It might seem like the only things we do here in London is eat and that's actually quite accurate. <laughs> we have now arrived at our lunch location. We'll be lunching at the Ivy Chelsea Garden. This restaurant was actually one of the first restaurants I really liked here in London. So we always, always go back there. Um, especially during the summertime because they have this beautiful oh, garden, the Ivy Chelsea Garden. Even like the inside area is very cool. I once had breakfast here, it was very cute. But of course the main area is the garden here. Look. Look at this cute. I mean how lovely is this? And our table for today is here. Food at Ivy Chelsea is not only good, it is also super pretty. I put this little one here just for the picture, but of course I never put my handbags on the table, so I'm going to remove it. Also, the award of the prettiest toilet goes to Ivy Chelsea. It is just very lovely. Everything is marble. It's actually quite photogenic. <laughs> And this is the end of our London vlog. We're now heading back to the airport. I want to thank you all for watching and for following our adventures. I think the next vlog is going to be from Venice. I think in the meantime, I'll be, um, I'll be filming some review videos. So if you're interested in me reviewing a specific item I have or like anything, just drop me a comment in the comment section below.